Here we are again before you to celebrate KPC's Sunday School Anniversary for the year 2023. This year's theme is the Lamb. The Lamb that we proclaim is the Lord Jesus Christ, who became flesh and came down to earth to accomplish the will of the Father who is in heaven. He desires that none of these little ones should perish, but that they would inherit eternal life. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Jesus is also the Good Shepherd who carefully tends after his flock. Here we are presenting before you a small debate based on the parable of the lost sheep, which Jesus spoke about. A sheep has wandered off from the flock again, and the flock are debating the consequences of the shepherd going in search of him. For this debate, we'll have four deer sheep taking stage. We have sugar plum, snuggles, marshmallow, and pizza bread. We hope that you, the audience, will be able to identify ideas from both sides and recognize where the sheep are right and wrong. Please listen carefully to this short debate happening amongst the flock over the lost sheep and the shepherd going behind the one while leaving the 99. Sugar Plum, there you are! I've been looking all over for you. What's going on? Oh no, the shepherd is leaving us here again, isn't he? What is it now? Don't tell me another sheep didn't come home. Again, Marshmallow, can you believe this? Word in the pens that the sheep got lost. The shepherd went to get him. Thanks, Pizza Breath. That figures. Wait, your name is Pizza Breath? Well, I guess the shepherd ran out of better names after so many sheep. I mean, there are like a hundred of us. Well, you shouldn't have burped in his face. <laughs> yeah, that too. So he left us 99 sheep to go get one goof who couldn't just fall in line and go with the group. You know what happens? Yeah, and now again, we are left with no one to protect us. There are always wolves in such a run. But he left us in a gated pen, with plenty of grass and water. Poor guy's probably scared. Come on! This is more than that. He left us, the good sheep, at risk while he goes to find one goofy sheep who can't do what he's supposed to. Like, we are sheep. You have one job. Follow the fluffy behind in front of you. If he can't do that, serves him right. Hey Snuggles, take it easy! Remember when I was lost once? Me too. I was real scared. Being alone and not knowing what to do, it's terrifying. I felt so helpless. Just seeing the shepherds and flows of relief. Like I could say, be still me bleeding heart. Then he brought me home. Yeah, the shepherd's awesome. Great guy and all. But I know I was never that lost. Think about it. Do we really want sheep like that in here? We're the good ones. And these other sheep can't be trusted if they can't follow, right? I guess that's true. I mean, if he had just done what he was supposed to do, he wouldn't have been lost. Why should we be left alone? We're the ones who do it right. Listen to yourself. The shepherd loves us all. We don't miss out on anything if he wants to be a good shepherd and bring the lost ones home. If his love was enough for you, why isn't it enough for the others? You think he deserves what we deserve? To me, it's pretty obvious. He doesn't belong here. I don't think he'll ever be one of us. There's a certain standard we have to maintain. How else are other sheep going to want to follow us unless we look the part? I mean, it would be nice to know all the sheep in the flock are going to follow right. But guys, why can't all the sheep be here if the shepherd wants them to be here no matter how far they stray? Are you trying to keep all the sheep the shepherd decides to bring in? You know, sounds an awful lot like you don't mind when other sheep are lost and we get left here. We've got to maintain standards or everyone will just wander off. Maybe you'd be better out there with them, the lost ones, if they are so important to you. They are important to me because they're so important to the shepherd. Well, considering he's not here because he's saving the lost one, Now's the perfect time to just... That's enough. If it isn't sufficient for everyone, what good is his grace? 
Why does it matter where they were if we can all arrive at the same place? Hope you all enjoyed this short debate. What do you think about the lost sheep? We see in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15 that when the shepherd finds the lost sheep, he puts it on his shoulders and goes home rejoicing. Similarly, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner than 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. And the shepherd knows the cost it takes for his sheep. In John 10 verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Now, through a short ribbon dance, let us join with the hosts of heaven in Revelation 5 verse 12 saying, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and praise.